Who do you think you are? You haven't scored one point in the NBA. You haven't played one game in the NBA. These are the feelings of some when what could have been a better Draymond Green was drafted into the NBA. Today's feature is a guy that was truly a misfit for the occupation he chose, especially for the time. Let's get into why he wasn't and probably won't be the Hall of Fame talent he could have been. Just a quick note to my subscribers out there. Stay tuned because I'm planning a giveaway to one of my loyal subscribers, man. I couldn't do this without you guys showing interest and input. So I will be giving away a free PS4 Pro to one lucky subscriber. Someone I see consistently in the comments and watches the videos. Many people watch the videos but aren't subbed. Please go ahead and push that subscribe button to enter and a notification will pop up. I'll randomly select a winner and ship it out. Today's feature, Royce Alexander White, born April 10th, 1991. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth, Ash get it. Royce was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He went to De La Salle High School for his freshman to junior years and was recognized by the LeBron James Skills Academy and the Nike Global Challenge. At six foot seven, he was a four-star recruit and on a lot of draft radars in his senior year. White transferred to Hopkins High School where he won the Class 4A Minnesota High School Championship in 2009, giving him his second state championship, and he finished with a record of 31-0. and 0. He was rated as the number two overall small forward in the class of 2009. He was also a Jordan Brand All-American. Royce decided to attend his hometown Minnesota Gophers over schools like Michigan State, USC, and Texas. Stunt number one, Rocky Starr. White was an all-around player that really didn't need to score a lot to affect the game. He was 6'7", well-balanced, had the feel for the game of a point guard, and strength of a smaller Steven Adams. Known for his martial arts background, White attributed his strength, footwork, and balance to that. At Minnesota, Royce didn't get off to such a good start though. Although he spoke and carried himself as a nice guy, White got into some trouble at the mall for stealing clothes and assaulting a mall cop in which he claimed to be defending himself. A lot of basketball players at that age really don't understand the importance of having guidance around you that are strong enough to stop you from yourself. White didn't have that, but I won't put all of his actions on that. White does come off as a guy that is a free spirit and doesn't accept the norms of society and this leads him to think he could do whatever he wants. Nothing was really important to him, at least no worldly rules. He was suspended for the 2009-2010 season, a season where he was also accused of stealing laptops on the campus. He left Minnesota in February 2010 without ever playing a game. He did make a connection to coach Fred Hoiberg while at Minnesota, and when Hoiberg got the Iowa State job, White, who was considered a first round pick, decided to attend Iowa State. This is where he burst onto the scene and showed the world what he could do. He sat out the 2010-2011 season because of transfer rules. He didn't play his first game until two years after he left high school. This hurt him, missing so much important years in his career. A lot can happen in two years with a lot to think about on his hands. Anxiety disorder is no joke and can be triggered for many different reasons. Time to just sit and think can definitely be one of them. When he was cleared to play, he came in and showed everything we thought he was. In his debut performance against Lehigh, he finished with 25 points and 11 rebounds. White had a double-double in his second career game as well three nights later against Drake with 21 points and 14 rebounds. Throughout the season, he would have many of those and some triple-doubles. He won awards for Player of the Weeks, Newcomer of the Weeks, and in Iowa State's opening game in the 2012 NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Tournament, he posted 15 points and 11 rebounds in a victory over Connecticut. His season concluded with a 23-point, 9-rebound, 4-assist, and 3-steal performance in a loss to Kentucky. He was the only player in the nation to lead his team in five major statistical categories, one better than Draymond's four in Michigan. He was the unanimous Rookie of the Year and all Big 12 performer, finishing with 13.4 points, 9.3 rebounds, 5 assists, and 1 steal, and also a block a game. 
I can't help but wonder what he could have been in his first two missed seasons had he not get off to such a rocky start. Stunt number two, I'm balling like an athlete but got no jumper. One of Royce's glaring deficiencies was he really didn't have a consistent jumper needed for where the game was about to take itself. His style of play would have worked for that era and would have made him a star had he came out earlier having the foresight to develop that skill before jumping to the next level. White shot just 33% from three in college and didn't really take much. Had he had this skill, he would have been one of the best two-way players in the league, a poor man's Mike Beasley on the offensive end, and better Draymond Green. Nowadays, threes and fours are shooting from literally anywhere. He just didn't have the form, touch, or experience shooting the rock. Stunt number three, and the biggest stunt of his career, where's the infinity mind stone when you need it? Mental disorder is really no joke, and White was the first player on the national stage to make that clearly seen. After foregoing his second season at Iowa State, White entered the NBA draft. He was a physical specimen and was coveted for his size, strength, and big hands. He was selected by the Houston Rockets with the 16th pick in the first round in 2012. White had an anxiety of flying on planes and wanted the league to address not only his, but a league-wide mental disorder problem. He tried to request the team to provide a safer way for him to travel, preferably by bus, but the league wasn't equipped at the time to adhere to his request and they and White began a long journey, which led to him missing the opening of the season, sent to the D-League, and missing valuable time off his career. He would practice with the team, but not participate because mentally, he viewed it as an unsafe environment. In January 2013, White would finally accept the D-League assignment and formally made his debut a month later for the D-League team, playing 18 minutes and leading the team with eight rebounds from off the bench. White also scored seven points and had four assists, but White would continue his fight with mental health and the Houston Rockets. He would never play a game for them and was traded to the Sixers, who'd also try to make things work for him, but decided to waive him in 2013. This was now four years after he left high school and only having played one season of meaningful basketball. He was picked up by the Sacramento Kings where he would make his NBA debut, playing just 40 seconds. The Kings would part ways with him 10 days later. The rest of White's career would play out with him only playing a total of three games in the NBA and stints in China and Europe. It's sad what the NBA and partly White let happen to this amazing talent. He was recently drafted number one in the Big Three draft and is living a happy life despite living with these circumstances. To any of us that followed his journey though, it feels like such a rob of a story and a constant thought of what could have been. The NBA could have done something ahead of its time with White and placed accommodations for players like him and really be foreseeing in what the world would be like in 2019. Instead, they did nothing and moved on. White could have handled things a little differently in the media also in order to make progress. Who's to say which side is right or if we'll ever see these type of situations be rectified and not let our talents go to waste? Thank you for watching and allowing me to voice my opinions. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth and I'm out.